What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today we're going to do our Dallas Stars season preview, focusing on the team that brought in a couple 40-year-old uh, top six forwards that, uh, though long in the tooth, can still produce. Didn't mean that to rhyme, uh, but you know it could be integral parts going forward. Let's start out the forward lines. Up front, I got Jamie Benn, who's still up for a new deal. Um, they'll get him re-signed, though, by the time camp opens, whenever that may be. Uh, center, Louis Erickson or Ray Whitney. You know, Whitney had 77 points last year with Phoenix and really was a catalyst on that Coyotes team that went to the Western Conference Finals. Erickson's a bona fide sniper. We know what Jamie Benn can do. Second line, I got the newly acquired Derek Roy, center of Michael Ryder, and uh, Yarmey Yaga. I got Yaga playing on the left for the first time in his career. I think that... Um, him and Ryder are interchangeable. They're both going to be playing their strong side, but any offense, either one of them can switch. Obviously, Ryder had 35 goals last year, and with a guy like Derek Roy, you know, good player, can definitely make those two guys better. Third line, I got the captain, Brandon Morrow, on the right, with uh, Cody Egan acquired in the Micro Barrow trade. Centering with uh, Eric Nystrom on the left. I misread that, so I was slowing down. Uh, Nystrom had a career year last year coming over from Minnesota. Cody Egan. Uh, former Canadian World Junior player and sending second on pick of the Washington Capitals. Obviously acquired in there beer too, like I said, Morrow, who uh, you know, still got something left to prove. Then your third line you got Peterson and Vancouver with uh Vernon Filler down the middle, pretty solid fourth line there. Uh defense I got Stefan Robida and the former Pittsburgh Penguin, Alex Goligoski. Uh, you know, pretty decent top pairing. Uh Trevor Daly and, and Larson then uh, my first take in Aaron Rowe, those are your bottom two pairings. You know, the defense can afford to get a little bit better, but they get some, you know, pretty decent prospects coming through that organization on the back end, Jamie Alexiak being uh, being one of them. But, uh, you know, and then between the pipes, Carrie Leighton and uh, Richard Bachman, not Michelle Bachman, <laughs> I hit her in the head with a puck. Uh, but, you know, Leighton had a great year last year, you know what he can do. Um... Uh, you know, Jack Campbell's going to be knocking on the door sooner rather than later. Second first round pick back in 2010. I think the 10th overall pick. Uh, we know what he can do. 3 time U.S. World Junior player. You know, we've seen that. Um, you know, this Dallas team, I don't know. I think they are better than they were last year, but they're still not great. They were in on the Parisi and uh, Suter sweepstakes. You know, they would have paid the money to either one of them. Uh, so I guess that's a good thing. So if a player becomes available via trade midseason, they can acquire him. Um, but you know, I, I don't know the thing. I mean, I think they can definitely challenge a playoff spot. But beyond that, I don't know. You know how much more do Whitney and Yaga have left in the tank, and when the lockout's over, how much would they be willing to? You know, that's uh, that's another thing. But you know, they got some talent here. New and Dice done a good job at assembling a pretty decent team here. You know, they were on a shoestring budget for the last couple of years with the new ownership in place. You know, they're willing to spend the money, so we'll see if they can spend it intelligently and, you know, build a quality team that can compete, you know, like they did in the, the late 90s, early 2000s with Madonna, Hall, and those guys. Uh, AD Eagle being one of them. But uh, they should be a fun team to watch. I can definitely, um, hopefully, just start drawing fans back in the seat. The tennis has been down, which, I mean, you'll get Dallas. You know, it's obviously the Cowboys town, but uh, the Rangers have been great, and then the, the Mavericks won the championship last year. So that that's two, you know, they got competition within their own city to watch. But uh, we'll see how it all works out. I'm curious to see how they respond to these new acquisitions and how they play in Dallas next year. That's all I got on this episode of the Power Play with CJ Dallas Star Season Preview. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the offseason and beyond. Later, guys.